when we look at these situations that we're going through in preparation of the Imam, we need to really look at this as end times. Because one of the issues regarding the severity of the tests and the trials of end times is the first and foremost trial before all other trials is to know whether we are in end times or not. See, that's the first question. Because if you think we are not in end times, then you don't look at it as severe. You don't look at it as bad. And hence, you start to slip if it is. When you recognize the times you're living in, you will be able to identify your responsibilities better. You will be able to prioritize your life better. The reason knowing the 12th Imam and recognizing him is so difficult is because of the fact that the 12th Imam in some aspects is going to be different than the rest of the Masumin, the rest of the infallibles. One of the things that Imam Zamana will be that the other Imams were not and people will not be expecting that because they think that he will be like all the other Imams is that Imam Zaman and Imam Mahdi is going to be a ruler, a powerful, dominant ruler. He is not going to be Muslim and oppressed. You are talking about Imam Ali had power? Friends, we haven't. You will see power when the Imam will come back. You will know when the Imam will come back. He is going to come back and he is going to be powerful. And he's going to be dominant. Nothing is going to stand before him. No one would dare stand before anything that stands before him would be knocked down, annihilated. That's going to be power, and we have to get ready for an Imam that is powerful now. A Shia who's going to be the helper of the Imam will have the mind and the cleverness of a politician who cannot be fooled by anyone. Who cannot be fooled by anyone. He is going to be like that. Simple-minded people cannot have marifat of the Imam. They can't.